Welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Our very special guest today, Will Johnson, the founder of his own organization, UniteAmericaFirst.com, is back with us today. Welcome back, Will. Hey, thanks for having me, sir. Of course. So in our last episode, we were talking about statues and the rewriting of American history. I've got one for you that you won't believe. All the statues coming down, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, uh, the black regiments that fought against the co Confederate army to help free the slaves. All these are bad, bad people. God knows why. And they're all being either defiled or destroyed. But get this, get this, Will. There's a statue of Lenin, the founder of the Soviet Union in Seattle. This is the town occupied by BLM and Antifa. The statue has not been touched. This is Lenin, who was responsible for the deaths of possibly 100 million in Russia, the Ukraine, and the Baltics, He's revered, and American heroes and their statues are being destroyed. Can you explain why they kneel in front of Vladimir Lenin, but not George Washington and Abraham Lincoln? You know, they look at America as the great evil. They look at America as the, the country that wants to oppress people, which is absolutely the opposite of that. They're looking at Lenin because that's the type of country that they want. They want what he was doing to over in Russia and Ukraine. They want exactly that. That's why they're not touching it because the Democrat party is no longer the Democrat party. They have become the communist party of the Democrat in America. And you know, for them not to touch the statue completely says that. They're in agreement with it. Now, for me, I see it as them just, you know, going, ag going against the grain because they know this country is the greatest country in the world. And because of the forefathers of this country, we have the freedoms like no other country. And they, and they don't like that for some reason. Well, it gets worse. You know, when you go into the chop, which is the new name of the Chaz in mm -hmm. Seattle, they are passing out literature on Antifa. And uh, there, here's an essay on why the police, capitalism, and the state must be destroyed by any means necessary, including through violence. And then here's another one. Our contempt for the media is inextricable for our hatred of this entire world. And the only way out is organized anarchy. How is this possibly being tolerated by the mayor, the city council, and the governor? Well, the, they are complicit with it. You know, there's a lot of people that wonder why Antifa had the free reign to terrorize people the way they have. Come to find out, there's a lot of doctors, lawyers, politicians. They are a part of Antifa. It's, it's amazing. CNN actually did a report talking about Antifa, putting Antifa in a good light. And while they were doing this, they were talking about all of the people, the professors, the, the teachers, the, the doctors that are that's part of Antifa. That's why they're giving them a pass. And now, they're, and, and like I said, they want to make it look like it's so bad so that way they can point fingers at President Trump. All fingers and all roads lead to President Trump in the political world in the United States of America. Well, let's talk about this leadership. You know, everybody knows about Black Lives Matter, but Black Lives Matter as a movement is different from the statement that Black Lives Matter. Nobody argues with that. All lives are important and all of them matter, but there's a movement called Black Lives Matter run by as she calls herself, one of the co-founders, I'm a self-styled queer activist, and I'm advocating for the abolition of prisons, meaning there should be no prisons. I guess that means if you arrest someone and convict them, you have to let them go because they were unjustly convicted. Is that kind of the theory? You know, I mean, BLM was never created for Black people in the first place. It is a total lie. I have a catchphrase that I say what actually BLM means. And for me, because I believe in God, 
I truly believe that BLM stands for because Lucifer manipulates. Because look how is they're using this movement to divide the country. And that's exactly what we're seeing. And then they turn around and say that if you say all lives matter, that means you're being racist. At what point did the word all change its definition? Because all does include black people and it has nothing to do with people in prison. They want to release people from the prison set from the prison system. So then that way we can have more havoc on the street. Look what happened in Atlanta. The uh, Rayshard Brooks was released because of COVID. And then he was out and he's out drinking, shouldn't have been drinking. And then uh, now they're trying to say the police officers were in the wrong for doing their job. One of the police officers now is uh, being charged with murder and possibly on the death row. See, BLM has nothing to do with black people. It is only an agenda to continue to try to divide this country. And it all started under Obama. It only took Obama 2,922 days to just about reverse everything Martin Luther King did. It's really startling that what you just commented on, nobody talks about Dr. King anymore. Um, he accomplished more for the black race in America than everybody before him mm -hmm. and was one of the greatest leaders in American history, if not the greatest of the last century. And his words don't matter anymore. If you're not mm -hmm. burning something down and you're not filled with hate and violence, then I guess they think you're wasting your time. There's another gal here at, at BLM. She writes policy for the movement. And she drafted the Movement for Black Lives, the policy platform. They are so anti-Israel, anti-Semitic, and pro-BDS, the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement. And they call Israel an apartheid movement, meaning blacks in Israel are second-class citizens, or worse, like South Africa. Um, a number of years ago, I happened to have dinner with Miss Israel, who is black from Ethiopia, and she represents Israel, at least at the time, as the Miss Universe pageant, a beautiful, well-spoken young lady. I guess apartheid isn't working out so well in Africa if the beauty pageant winner of the entire country is a black woman. <laughs> you know, they're so stuck on color, and they're so stuck on what makes us different. Instead of saying, you know what, we're all on the same planet, we all have, we all bleed red. We all have same issues. We all have to pay bills. We all, at one point in our lives, we all have to call it end of the end of our lives. We all have to die. We can't change any of that. But instead of them coming together saying, what can we do to help each other out? They want to stay on color. They want to see what's dividing all of us. And, you know, as far as Israel, the left, they hate Israel. And because what it says, what the Bible says, now it's kind of it's, it's kind of ironic how if you know God says if you go against Israel I would be against you but for some reason they find a need for any reason to go against Israel and no matter who the person is you know and they, they find that need but we shouldn't do that we should all realize that we're all on the same planet together but we can't do that because of we're so petty as humans well Martin Luther King was a great friend of not only the Jewish people but the state of Israel um, the people that marched with him arm in arm were Jews, and they were all part of his nonviolent revolution. Tell me this, Will, in modern day black America, is the BLM movement and its anti-Israel sentiment, is that gaining traction in the black community or just among the leadership? Well, I think because of the violence that BLM has been doing out in the streets is causing a lot of black people to move away from it. I've seen multiple videos where black people are saying, that's not for me. I'm not about that. We've come so far in this nation to try to be equal. And now they're creating a movement that's saying that we're not equal. Why do I have to have a white person even telling me that my life matters? Why do I have to be reminded that my life matters? Why, why do I have to be told that? I already know that. And for someone who doesn't know that their life matters, they need more help than possible. They need Jesus. I mean, seriously. And, and as far as Martin Luther King, there's, still, there's a movement right now trying to convince people that Martin Luther King was a Democrat, which he wasn't. Martin Luther King was a Republican.
He was a registered Republican and he was for the second amendment. They don't want to talk about that because they have an agenda to change history and have people think something else. Well said, Will, and thanks for joining us today. Remember, please go to UniteAmericaFirst.com. You'll learn all about Will Johnson. And for those of you that haven't subscribed yet, pull out your cell phone and please type the word truth on a text message and send it to 88202. You'll be subscribed to our text message service. It's free. All you got to do is look into the palm of your hand, hold your phone up, and you'll get our videos and articles for free. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.